Intelligent Throttle Control, ITC, and now IBC. Jumpin', and she got the old IBS. What's going on today? Going to pick up the new 23 there at Bay Marine. The boys got it all slapped together and I just got the call to go pick it up. So today's the day. We are going to grab the brand new 2023 Can-Am XMR 1000R. Ranking. Something else going on this weekend. Today starts is the uh, Belleville Sportsman Show. So we'll probably pick up the new 23. We're taking you guys along for the ride. Then we'll go join the boys at the show. It's exciting. So parts we got stuff I've got some stuff already um, wheels and tires were ordered I just have to really get up to Barry and pick them up we've got STM clutches this time primary and secondary original mods we went with the full meal deal so gas cap shifter riser stem tie rods fairly pretty much everything that you can get from original mods we have that will help with the comfort the ergonomics of the machine exhaust system SLG large core system sniper series that's gonna sound pretty wicked. Uh, aside from that, we're still waiting on a back rack and floorboards from uh, our friends at Farm Mudding. I know they were developing a rear tail light for the Renegade, but we were kind of holding off, hoping that that would be completed and we could just send everything together. Anyways, let's get down to Trent. That's it folks, we're driving away with a brand new Renegade once again. Awesome. So, uh, upon further inspection, this 23 does not have the intelligent braking control, so we will not be reporting back on the intelligent braking control um, until at least we get to try it out on another unit, so, which we will do. Also, we were talking to the boys about maybe doing a little review on that 700 single once they get their hands on one this spring. So that's a potential too. All right, let's go to the show. Cheers. Mr. Crazy Browner. 
Everything's a little bit moist yeah. from the condensation in the trailer. Awful cold at night still, so is what it is. She'll dry out quick. Everything here gets used pretty hard and treated pretty crappy. So is what it is. Definitely makes working on these machines a lot nicer to have everything organized. So we will probably have to charge some batteries. We've all been sitting in the cold for a while, eh? That one's full. That one's pretty much dead. Full. Well, some of these really hold up well. Full. Really, eh? Three. That's enough. We're good, actually. Doesn't look like we do have to charge anything. Gotta like that. Yeah, yeah. man. Good Loving fun. the toolbox. Loving it. All right. We got her in here. Um, so, yeah, having this front end and being able to pull out is a really nice, nice feature, man for cleaning the radiator also i can see guys will be manufacturing plates for sure oh, yeah. you know aftermarket plates and stuff in there with your logo and stuff on it yeah just like that and they did it away with the rubber grommets which we infamously lose all the time now i will say you got to keep an eye on these little metal clips as well they will come off the plastic eventually um but i'd rather this method to fastening it than the rubber grommets they just tend to be a real problem yeah um for pushing through when you're going to insert it and stuff like that actually that snaps in really nicely that's good definitely should make the radiator easier to clean you know and they hid the corners of it eh yeah you see you notice how yeah. remember mine sticks out bows out right edges right and then uh we were talking about it just a few minutes ago but i think the clearance here from the tire to the headlight is is much greater if you look at my old renegade here oh, so look at this this tip here spaz maybe i would to the bottom of this headlight basically so if we were right around there to there you're looking at like seven inches okay that's a good way to get a gauge on it i think so if you come back to this corner again and i'll hold you at the bottom of where the light is you're right about there yeah look at that that's like five and a half tops yeah so you've shaved almost two inches from the top of this i'm assuming these plastics haven't changed i'll have to look at part numbers i don't think they have maybe they have I don't think they have though they look identical to me so yeah my guess is is you've got more room here now sure. yeah we'll have a pint here we'll probably close this door up it's almost like it's really nice out but it is a bit brisk gonna shut the door and we'll get ripping into this thing here and throwing some parts on her front bumper like the overhang on this i'm just not sure why i'm wondering if it wasn't uh, something to do with the rad relocate to maybe get it lay down or look a little better um but the front bumper has changed, right? You've got these two, you've got more radius bends. We also didn't stick out this far past the plate, right? So noticing that kind of has a bit of an overbite. I don't know. I'm considering removing the front bumper altogether, at least to get a good look at the front fascia of this thing. The headlights look awesome. Yeah, pretty cool. Fire them up again, Spaz. You gotta take the kill button off and just a real quick pop to the start button, yep. That's the high beams, all four. There's your low beams. And then you can kind of see on the wall here, the high beams open it up up top a little more where the low beam just seems to really bear it down in front of the bike. 
she does look pretty sweet. I just, I'm not big on the oranges all. That's my 18 seat off my Renegade. I'm actually, uh, I'm going to reupholster this seat. I'm not sure which direction yet, but I did find colors that go really well with the uh, liquid titanium. So I don't know, we'll check it out. Something's definitely coming, but I just threw the black on there to see if deleting the red is the way I want to go. I might rip that front bumper off. We're going to slap some clutches on. Uh, wheels and tires are still in Barry. I've got to get together with the boys. This is already tuned by uh, Andy, crazy, at Crazy Browner. She's already got the monster injection tune on it. Uh, Andy had the opportunity to swing by, grab the ECU, take it back to his place and give it a bench flash. So she's ready to go. We slapped the exhaust on there. She's, she's tuned. We will take it to the dyno for shits and giggles and uh, fine tune it as well. Definitely liking the look of the seat better um, without the red on it. Yeah, for sure. All right, buddy. I agree. Let's get into it, eh? Yeah. cable in there got the fair lead four boards are on the way back racks on the way um some new tail lights from fire mining which would be pretty kick-ass but uh yeah we threw the greasy uh 34s on there in the meantime she's looking pretty badass yeah huge thanks boss for the hand as always but no man all right boys we just had another parcel arrive so we're getting ready to move into the old floorboard install package from Fire Martin, right? There are a couple things that I hadn't still finished up from the other night at Spazis. We got the uh, synthetics got to go on and then there are beautiful shiny fair lead. That'll clean up the uh, the front grill of that Renegade real nice. So I got to strip these uh, bumpers down and I think if they uh, turn out just like I think they might, I might just clear coat them, uh, have them powdered at a buddy's place. But um, yeah. I'll have to get to that a little bit later. Let's see what's inside the box. Okay, I did pop it. It's a pain in the butt, but we haven't looked at it yet. So, but that's nice. Right on, boys. New chapeau. Do all oh, nice stickers. I like that. Great out camo one. That's real nice. Cool. Hardware, foot pegs, keychain. Very nice. Great touch. Some instructions in there. Uh, we won't be needing those. And uh, some fire mud decals kick ass like in the finish it looks great we'll get those boards pulled off uh torch 30 yes 10 mil yes we might as well arm ourselves the magnet tray
Now, you can opt to use the farm mounting hardware or you can reuse the majority or all of the Can-Am hardware, which I like doing myself. And the other thing I might do this time is cut this floorboard or peg and work these pegs in with those boards. Well, it's bar of life, so she's losing her power. Wow. Those are on there so tight, she broke her. Awesome. There we have it. That's badass. Oh, wow, that looks really nice. 32 is no problem. You can slam them under there, but you want to put 34s on a Renegade, you're going to have to modify. Well, we knew this. All right, boys, let me find a bolt for that, but that's what we're looking at. That looks awesome. I dig it. All right, charge it up some more batteries for the grinder, and we finished up with the floorboards. I made a quick trip to grab a couple wire wheels and a street uh, paint stripping wheel, right? So we started going to town on getting this bumper ready for power flow. So she's getting stripped. I'm wrapped up the floorboards, as you guys can see, um, before the battery died. We were on this side and drilling out and mounting and all that, but yeah, we've got the. Uh, the foot pegs in there nicely and uh yeah bob's your uncle everything's good she's hunky dory tight looks really nice it's grinding away waiting for a couple batteries to finish up and then i can pretty well pretty well got the back side for the most part the big tubes now we got some intricate round and round work to do so ah, just like that she's coming along I spared you guys the headache and uh, trust me it's hours of grinding away with different pads and using a little paint stripper in the uh, crevices which we still got to clean out a little bit this one here is pretty much good to go but we got another product on the way to maybe help us with some of the clearance up in the front end we made the floorboards work for the back end but she's looking rather tight up here at full turn i can put in a bump stop but i prefer to just throw on a uh, forward offset a arm so we reached out to S3 Power Sports, and that's exactly what's going to happen. So, stay tuned. Power coats in. On our way to Sam's. Cheech and Diesel on uh, on Instagram. Let's go see what the young lad has to say. Well, that's pretty kick-ass. Lucky to have the uh, the access to this, man. Oh, and I like the way that it's kind of coppered off. It's sort of browned off with the baking process, boys. So you almost have the same type of hue that you're getting on the bike. I think this is going to look pretty killer. We won't know until we both her up, but uh, we both think it's going to look killer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. Well, that looks good. Wow. That's way better than I thought it would turn. I like that. Yeah, me too, man. Yeah, that's a huge difference. All right, boys. We got all finished up at Sam's place, and... Uh, to slap this bike back together it turned out man pleasure working with you and i appreciate you running me through the process and teaching me a little something so 
Yeah. Thanks again, brother. Cheers. See you guys in a bit. We're about to install these bumpers, get our exhaust mounted back up and see what this thing's gonna look like. I'm pretty excited, so. Sweet. Looks pretty good, boys. I mean, it was pink, but uh, a hell of a lot better than red, no? All right, boys, far mud and back rock. Let's unbox that bad boy and see what she's gonna look like. There it looks, good. Come on. She's got a lot of, a lot of padding. We weren't taking any chances. Oh yeah. There you go, boys. Check that out. That's pretty badass. This is a beefy chunk of steel, man. She's going up good. Is there something else in there? Yeah, we got something. Oh, their taillights are in there. I didn't know it. You guys are in for a treat. We got uh, the new prototype rear taillights from Farmonic. So we get to change the back look of this thing yet even more. So very excited about those. We can actually do this with set food up here. Door. Oh, don't hey, boys, you're back. Right on. We got a fresh battery in you, and that couldn't have turned out nicer as far as color match and stuff and i mean that's just raw metal boys and she gets a little bit of that copper tone to it when it gets baked and i think it looks pretty kick-ass we have one more install fire mud and tail lights these are new these are new and they're also developing a halo and they can see you've got your wire feed right there so they're thinking ahead she's going to wrap around that that's going to look pretty kick-ass it lights up well we'll get them installed and then you guys will see Welcome back, boys. So, we're gonna fire this baby up, spin it around. The arms are coming today, so we're gonna get ahead of the game and start tearing this one apart. I'll start tearing these ones out, rather. swap out those tie rods that we got from uh, original mods so we'll do that as well yeah we're getting there all right well that didn't take long look at that the arms just showed up boys so we can break into this box and take a peek at them right now or we can get into this i'm gonna have to run down a crappy tire and borrow a ball joint kit the money down for the tool and then bring the tool back to give you your money back so that's kind of cool don't forget boys the old crappy tire right Actually, maybe we should just take a peek at these arms. I think we should. I need to get my toolbox out. Something like... This should help give us ample clearance. Dun -dun -dun. Okay, so no, these ones aren't adjustable, which is even better because, you know, they're set up to go, right? So, wow, these are going to look killer on there, man. Awesome. Freaking awesome. Yeah, these are nice quality welds. Yeah, these are super slick looking. Kick ass forward offset uh, A arms for the Renegade. This is, this is killer, man.
ratchet wrench in there, but you can, so. Just tearing apart the suspension, doing a swap. On the new bike? Yes. Oh, you're putting new arms on it too? Forward offset S3 Power Sports. Oh, uh, that's pretty good. That's what we're shooting at. Right yeah. That's what I'm doing right now. What you find is when you're removing these air arm bolts, this one here always knocks into, right? So you gotta get the side out first. You can lift a little bit, the angle will allow you to pull that guy right out, right? So should give you enough to pull. Pull right clean out, right? Pull this right off. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Ah. Okay, we are back after a lot of grueling wrestling with ball joints. I hate that crap. Just grabbed a cheap set from Canadian Tire that I could uh, use to throw them back together and uh, yeah, she was time consuming. Not only that, I didn't have all the proper cup sizes and such. So shout out to the boys up at the shop where I work, GIP Mechanics for helping me out there on their break. So now I'm just setting up these uh, original mod tie rods. Look alliance, we're looking for 18 and a quarter. And up like that. God, really, oh wow. back in like so and mount up my lower top that looks pretty comfortable spots zip tie your brake line right back in place golden man we'll be back check out this dirty dodge look at that boys we're off to bury this morning to go get the wheels and tires I'm not just slick okay eh? Nice truck, bud. Shit. Who do you tires, boys? Holy shit, check that out, boys. Whoa. -ho -ho. Might want to carve them tires up, Raj. Holy shit. Wolfman Jack. Yeah, good good see, like, brother. Really good see it, man. You guys put quite the chop on this thing. Holy shit. Still wear a helmet inside. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> hey? Put the harness on tight. Yeah, really tight. Yeah, holds down, man. Well, you guys got it pretty stripped. Holy shit. Show better on the bike with a little bit of silver popping. Do we have spikes for this? Actually, yeah, those look great. Yeah, we'll go with those. Those look awesome. Fuck. The 18s just rode that much better, boys. And with the Havocs, the Havocs are a super soft tire, so get a much cushier ride out of her. This looks awesome.
we're kind of catching up here with what's new with Roger, and uh, he's doing a whole new build. What is this? Is this the whaling stuff? The trail exhaust. Okay, you got the trail exhaust for this one. All right. So eight inch portals right there with 70% gear reduction for the Cricket. Oh shit, yeah. Next week the performance fabrication lift comes. We finally convinced Roger to dump the old Evo tune and give whaling a try, boys. This is a 300 horsepower. 300 horsepower kit. Yeah. What's an awful small box? I, it's oh my lord, but it's all the right components, for right? a whole lot of money. Clutch bolt. Four clutch, yeah. Dino jets. Okay. The bracket. This is the money right here. Yeah, the big girl, the but, on that, eh? but the little girl. You got a KWI clutch kit. Okay, yeah. The new helix. Yeah, and the, new helix. All the springs and everything down here. Oh, buddy, your machine's gonna rock. If we can get Fuel pump, uh, new injectors. I wonder if we put stickies on it if it'll do wheelies after this. I think if I do the sand tires, it'll lift the wheels. Yeah, you think so? I think. That'd be ridiculous, man. Roger, you're heading over to your other store location. Maybe you want to tell people uh, what, yep. new, what's new. New store location, uh, doing used tires out of that location. Right on. Um, if you don't have a ton of dough and you want to save some money, we have 6,000 used tires there at at least half price of what you pay for new ones. So people. we've been open for a month there and business is booming. Yeah, so, that's awesome. Yep. Where, where's the location? Do you know the address? Uh, 461 Dunlop Street West, uh, here in Barry, Unit 12. Right on, boys, you heard it. All right, clearance. How much you got there, clearance? Half inch. This was the last major component to add to it. We're gonna do some halos around the front rear lights and then some rock lights, but as far as ready to roll, this one's finally there, so. Roger uh, always going above and beyond for us, man, and just can't thank you enough.